can investigative reporting stop corruption? Sure it can. Um, good, thorough investigative reporting, and especially cross-border investigative reporting, can actually be much more efficient than law enforcement in some cases. I'm talking about uh, grand corruption cases that goes across uh, that go across many many countries, uh, and where law enforcement would have difficulty in uh, collaborating with uh, their counterparts. Um, so yes, uh, by working in networks of investigative reporters, uh, by working across borders, uh, investigative reporting can deter and uh, stop uh, criminals from doing business as, as usual. Um, I can give you one example. Um, the Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project, the network that I work for, investigated a big part of the Magnitsky case, which is the biggest uh, um, case of fraud in Russia in the past few years, at least. Um, we were able to go across borders to track down offshores, to track down where the money went, and uh, as a result of that, a number of investigations, official investigations this time, were uh, ignited, were started uh, in a few uh, EU countries. Uh, and also outside of the EU, for instance, in the Re Republic of Moldova. So by joining forces, I mean, investigative reporters, you know, can present the facts, in a, again, in a very thorough manner. That means not just uh, reporting, not just the narrative, but that means attaching the proper documents to, to your investigative reporting, attaching, I mean, all evidence that, that, uh, that, that you need. Uh, so this way uh, you can be very efficient and um, uh, uh, the investigative work can be um, used further by law enforcement in order to, to determine change. How do you think that the cooperation between the parliamentarians and journalists uh, can work? Well, I mean, uh, parliamentarians are, um, are the ones who can uh, push forward the message. Um, parliamentarians can take the evidence that is provided by investigative reporters and use it uh, in their fora. Uh, they are the ones that can push for real change. So law enforcement, uh, the uh, executive power, you know, have obviously a tremendous uh, impact on the society. So jur journalists as providers of evidence can be also very, very useful in this process. Right now, the funding, the funding that goes, you know, from the EU side, you know, to investigative reporting is very, very little. And lots of good investigative reporters uh, are in very risky, dangerous situations, and they have to struggle and they fight, uh, you know, um, uh, criminals who have lots of money and lots of resources at their disposal, and uh, we don't. So what, happened, uh, what happens is that um, a lot of the media is actually controlled by the bad guys, by criminals, by uh, corrupt politicians, and the independent media is uh, left without the resources. Um, and this means that the bad guys understood that it's very important to control the media, while the good guys, and I would include here some of the uh, MPs, some of the parliamentarians, and uh, definitely some of the MEPs, um, unfortunately didn't understand that they need to support good journalism and good investigative reporting. So I'm hoping this will change.